Hey, if you're out and about in Kansas City, you might see some really prominent buildings and intersections that are spray painted. I met with a graffiti artist who's bringing beauty to neighborhoods in a very unusual way. This mural near 31st and Holmes took Ben Watson two weeks to complete. He and his team of artists have been working along this block, creating beauty over what were once walls of gang tags. He says he wants to inspire other young people who might be vandalizing things right now to join him and do this for a living. I'm Ben Watson and I'm a street artist. Ben Watson is the first one to admit he made mistakes as a kid growing up in Southern California. And when he first used a can of spray paint on a wall at the age of 12, it wasn't because he was hired to do it. When I was a kid in, you know, uh, junior high, we used to run around and spray paint on stuff. But now Kansas City is his canvas. Always scouting on walls, all the time, passing out business cards every day. And he only paints on buildings when he's asked to paint on them, which these days is quite often. We have wanted to add some street art to that wall since we moved here in 2012. They wanted something colorful and nice, kind of brighten the neighborhood up. Ben says he owned a construction company for 17 years and he hated it. His true passion was always art and he loved graffiti art. And then he got an idea, why not just go for it and try to make an honest living painting murals the way he loves painting them. All graffiti doesn't have to be bad, you know. Over the years, he's assembled a team of graffiti artists now hired by businesses across Kansas City to put artwork where it's badly needed. The business owners here at 31st and Home say they found Ben by word of mouth and they knew he would transform the outside of their building into something beautiful. I love it, I love it. Oh, the concrete wall and then there was some, some uh, tagging on it and just some gang stuff and we're just covering up, putting some fancy graffiti over it. Oh yeah, it's good. What is this exactly? The neighborhood's been really excited to see it go up. You know, every day I'm getting people come by, shaking my hand and thanking me and everything. And you know, it makes you feel good. And people appreciate what you do. Ben also does corporate murals on the side, like this sporting Kansas City mural at 17th and Main, and this Royals mural along Southwest Boulevard across from Boulevard Brewery. But he's also got at least 40 other murals across Kansas City, just like this one. He charges if the business owner has a specific vision, but he'll do it for free if they let him have full creative license. Each piece of art lasts about four years. Every once in a while you'll have somebody come and write on it, but we come back, we fix them, and we carry on. And if he spots someone tagging who has talent, and he can track them down, he says it's not uncommon to recruit that person. You know, it feels good that, you know, our stuff stays up and, you know, essentially I'm making a living off of it and I don't have to work a normal job. I can just be myself and pay my bills off of it. He says he wants to reach young people who are like he was years ago and show them that they can do what they love for a living. And if that is graffiti art, Ben wants to help them any way that he can. So that's his mission. He's always looking for young people who might be on the wrong path. And then when he finds them, he says, hey, why don't you come work for me? We can make money and you can do your art and do something positive. He's a really cool guy.